This morning, News 5 continuing to follow through on stories impacting your community. For years, we've been diving deep into the crippling school bus driver shortage. Between an aging workforce and lifestyle changes, virtually every district across the country is struggling to find drivers. Back in March, we followed Brunswick City Schools as they work to hire more bus drivers. They took a hands-on approach, letting candidates test drive a bus to see if they would be the right fit. As the school year kicks off, they're bringing the event back and looking for the next class of drivers. Our Mike Holden joins us live with their goal this go around and how many secured a spot last time. Good morning, Mike. Guys, good morning to you. It is really a second chance of sorts because the second annual test drive a bus event is happening this Saturday from 9 o'clock in the morning until 11 o'clock. And they say they are in dire need of more drivers to get behind the wheel of buses just like this. You see the fleet getting ready to head out on their morning routes, but they are stressing the last event. Although there was a lot of interest, only one person officially signed on for the job, whether you have kids grandkids. You don't even need to be a Brunswick resident. They want you to come out and give it a shot. Parma Heights native Mike Bloom learned it's never too late to find your passion or make a career change. Were you a bus driver before this or no? No, I was driving a semi. From semis to big yellow school buses, the mid 50 something heard about Brunswick's test drive a bus event back in March right here on News 5. He jumped at the opportunity. How hard was the transition? Not at all. Cake. These are easier to drive than a semi. I was going to say, I'd be terrified. He took us on board and took bus 74 for a spin on one of his morning routes. It's no different than driving a box truck. Yeah. I just got a little bit more precious cargo. He made the switch and says he found true fulfillment working with kids. Better opportunity for me, better benefits. News 5 followed through and followed up with Brunswick City Schools as the new school year is in full swing. Unfortunately, we're in a similar position uh, that we today that we were the last time you were here. They're gearing up for their now second annual test drive a bus event and hoping to find job seekers similar to Mike. Unfortunately, though, he was the only new hire who committed to a job from the first annual event. We had 27 drivers that came out and uh, toured our high school parking lot on our buses. Uh, they got an opportunity to understand how the bus works. And while there was some follow up interest, it just wasn't enough. There were some people that came that it was just a bucket list item for them that they wanted to drive. Brunswick City School Superintendent Jason Niedermeyer says the district currently staffs for approximately 40 routes. Right now, though, they only have 34 drivers. So that means they're getting creative with double backs and utilizing new routing software to become further efficient in the pickup and drop off process. If we had 10, 12 more drivers, we'd be we'd be in really good shape. Unfortunately, we're just a little short of that. From $1,500 sign on bonuses to paying you for your training and even covering the cost of your CDL, Niedermeyer says they're expanding employment opportunities, now targeting seasonal workers and folks looking for both part time as well as full time work. If you want to work more than that, we'll put you on a bus in the morning and then we'll have you work in our schools, whether it be uh, custodial services or nutrition services. We'll fill the middle of your day and then we'll we'll get you back on the bus in the afternoon. And here's a live look at all of those buses, the bus drivers getting ready to head out for their morning routes. We actually just saw Mike moments ago and he told us he loves the job. One, because the perks, the flexible schedule, he's rolled it into a full time job. He drives his route in the morning, then he heads over to the middle school for work and then finishes the day on the bus. And he says he plans to retire from the job. If you are sitting there at home, maybe you're a retiree or maybe you're looking for a career change. Come on out to the event this Saturday. It's at the football stadium parking lot nine o'clock in the morning until 11 o'clock you have to be at least 21 years old and have a clean driving record we've got all the ways to sign up super simple news 5 cleveland.com Bryn Mike realistically how many drivers are they hoping to yeah. get from this event and who would be a good fit Honestly, anybody, as long as you have that clean driving record. And again, you don't have to be a resident of this city. They said at least five would be the ultimate goal. They're cautiously optimistic, but they say anyone can do it. They'll help you train throughout the way. All right. Thank you, Mike. Good seeing you this morning.